Well, I got here a Raspberry Pi 2. Um, I got it connected to that monitor there. I got the Raspberry Pi connected to a Arduino Nano that is running a uh, composite program of the servo and the ANSCII parsing uh, serial samples that come with the Arduino IDE. Uh, the Arduino is controlling two servo motors here on this uh, pan and tilt mechanism that I 3D printed. I downloaded the uh, set of parts from Thingiverse, but I added these little brackets to hold a Logitech webcam, USB webcam that I also connected to the Raspberry Pi. I printed those in my uh, Delta printer back there. So um, the webcam is connected to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi controls the Arduino, which in turn controls the servo motors. The reason I've done it this way is because the Arduino has a more fine control of the servo motors than the Raspberry Pi. If I wanted to use a Raspberry Pi GPIOs, uh, the servo motors will constantly be unstable, like shaking all the time. That's why I did it this way. So actually, the Arduino is sending commands in the form of ASCII uh, characters. Basically, the uh, pan and tilt degrees in serial format with comma separated values and the, the Arduino converts those into pulse width modulation. The Raspberry Pi is getting a live feed from the webcam right here. I'm able to pan and tilt uh, the Arduino using the W, Z for tilt and A, Z keys for pan like so. You can see how the uh, camera I'm trying to get a shot of myself. Uh, here that's me. I'm holding my cell phone. So um, the reason for why I'm doing this video is to show you the initial stages. My purpose is to mount this Raspberry Pi, the webcam pen and tilt, the Arduino, which not only will control the servo motors, but also control an H-bridge uh, board that will control the DC motors on this big Hummer uh, toy car here. I uh, already got a <coughs> lead acid battery um, that I'm going to use for this. Uh, I want to do it uh, using Wi Fi, so I'm going to connect the Raspberry Pi to a router, and then the router will uh, connect using Secure Shell to a laptop and I will get the live feedback using X11. Um, that's how I'm planning to do it. So I'm going to remote control the uh, toy car using Raspberry Pi through Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so far I've got to this point where I'm having the Raspberry Pi control the Arduino using a serial uh, connection. The Ras the if you press the Q key, you will exit the program. I'm going to show you what the program looks like. Let's see that. Got here, Nano. Okay. So here I got, I open up uh, a webcam live feed using OpenCV. I can also use OpenCV to like uh, find certain colors. And but the initial stages are just you know, to use manual control. I 
probably add some sort of uh, algorithm to like find uh, some shapes using uh, the OpenCV package, looking for certain colors or finding faces, whatever. Uh, that's what OpenCV is for, is computerized vision, open source. So I'm doing that here, and then I'm uh, basically setting up the communication with Arduino here, uh, defining the webcam, uh, video capture frame size. And here I'm using, you know, the limit, the pan and tilt angles, and then just defining which keys are going to do what. This is the way I'm sending data to Arduino. So two decimal values, and then a dash line, and then a return or line feed character. That's how you control it. So that's using Python. Well, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will upload later installments of how I'm working on this. This is a long process because I'm only working on my spare time. Uh, but this is like a self-learning process. I usually code using C Sharp, but now I'm working on Arduino and Raspberry Pi using Python, which is really uh, interesting because Python is a little different from what you programmers are used to. Well, stay tuned for more. Bye.